If enriched uranium is bombed, it does not result in a nuclear explosion. Uranium, even if highly enriched, cannot detonate like a nuclear weapon unless it's configured explicitly into a critical mass with precise engineering. A conventional missile or bomb strike will not trigger a nuclear blast. Instead, the main consequence is the physical destruction of the site and the dispersal of radioactive material. The explosion would scatter uranium particles, potentially contaminating the surrounding area, creating what's known as a dirty bomb effect. This doesn't produce the devastation of a nuclear detonation, but it can still pose serious health and environmental risks, particularly through inhalation of radioactive dust or contamination of soil and water. The level of danger depends on the type of uranium involved. Low enriched uranium, typically used in nuclear power plants, poses relatively limited radiological risks. Highly enriched uranium, which is used in nuclear weapons, is much more hazardous if dispersed, as it is more radioactive and more easily absorbed into the body through dust or contact. However, if the bombing causes a fire, the heat can oxidize the uranium, making it airborne and increasing the danger of widespread contamination through drifting radioactive particles. Beyond the health and environmental hazards, bombing an enriched uranium facility has broader implications. It would likely only delay a country's nuclear ambitions, not eliminate them, unless core infrastructure, like centrifuges, is also destroyed. The political consequences could be severe, as such an attack would almost certainly be considered a major provocation and escalation. Cleanup efforts would be complex, expensive, and time-consuming, often requiring specialized hazmat teams and long-term containment strategies.